Today's read aloud is called City Neighborhood Walk. Let's visit a city. People everywhere live in neighborhoods. A neighborhood is a small part of a larger community, such as a city or town. A neighborhood's people and places help to make it special. Some neighborhoods are parts of cities. A city is a very large community. It may have thousands or even millions of people. A city and the communities around it make up a metropolitan area. Homes. People live in all parts of a city. Downtown, most people live in apartments. Sometimes apartments are built in old factories or office buildings. Some apartment buildings are very tall. Outside the downtown, the city is divided into many neighborhoods. People live in houses, apartment buildings, or townhouses. The homes in each neighborhood are often alike in some ways. These townhouses are all connected to each other. Getting around. In cities, some people use cars to get from place to place. But city streets are often very busy and crowded. Some people choose to walk or ride bikes. Others use buses or taxis. Buses take people around the city. People come into the city to work, shop, or attend special events. They may ride on buses, trains, or subways. Some people carpool to save money. Trains can carry many people at one time. Schools. Cities have many children, so they need many schools. Most neighborhoods have at least one school. There are schools downtown as well. Schools in cities need to have room for lots of students. City school buildings are often quite large. Most of them have play areas nearby. Some children can walk to their neighborhood school. Others ride their bikes or take cars school buses, city buses, or subways to and from school. Children in city schools enjoy playing outdoors. Working. Many people work downtown. Here, there are large office buildings and government buildings. There are stores, restaurants, factories, and other businesses too. Cities are full of people who work. Workers in the city do many different kinds of jobs. Some work in offices, restaurants, or stores. Others build and repair the roads and buildings that the city needs. Keeping safe. Many workers help keep the city safe. Some police officers patrol the city in cars. Others walk or ride bikes or horses. This helps them get around traffic more easily. Firefighters and emergency workers also keep people in a city safe. They rush to help when people are hurt, sick, or in danger. Their quick work can save people's lives. Shopping. Cities have many different places to shop. There are large department stores, that sell all kinds of things. There are other stores that sell special products. City neighborhoods have many places to shop too. These stores are usually smaller and sell special kinds of products. Sometimes stores are grouped together in a certain area. Food. Everyone needs food to eat. Most people in cities get their food from grocery stores. Large grocery stores sell many kinds of food. Some neighborhoods also have smaller stores and farmer's markets. Cities have some places to eat. There are fast food restaurants and sidewalk cafes. Some restaurants serve foods from different countries. Sometimes you can even buy food from vendors on the streets.
Libraries A big city needs many libraries. There is often a main library downtown. People can borrow books and look up information. They can also join book clubs or use computers. Many city neighborhoods have smaller branch libraries. Branch libraries share books and materials from the main library. They offer many of the same kinds of programs as the main library. Money and Mail Cities have many banks to handle people's money. The main banks are usually downtown. These banks often have branches in city neighborhoods. Post offices have a main office downtown too. They have branch offices in neighborhoods. Letter carriers often deliver the mail on foot because city buildings are so close together. Other places in a city. Cities have thousands of important buildings. In the city hall, government leaders make plans and rules for the city. Cities also have many churches, temples, and other places of worship. Cities have many doctor's offices and hospitals. People can get care when they are sick or hurt. These buildings may be downtown or in city neighborhoods. Having fun. There are lots of fun things to do in a city. Most cities have parks, playgrounds, and gardens for people to enjoy. There are also ball fields, bike paths, and many other places for outdoor activities. Cities have many places to visit. There are museums for art, history, and science. There may be aquariums and zoos too. People can also go to theaters to see plays, or enjoy music concerts. The city comes together. A city has many neighborhoods, but it is still one big community. People work together to help others. They share food, clothing, and other items. They raise money and run special programs for those in need. People in city neighborhoods also have fun together. They may have parties, parades, and other special events. People share food, music, games, and fun. All these things make cities great places to live. 